So working on a Valen Ecotech Pro and we are going to be changing over the main heat exchanger today. So you are going to want to isolate the flow and return, also isolate the gas. Um, before you isolate a gas, just do a drop test just to make sure the gas is okay. Obviously drain down the boiler, then isolate the gas underneath the boiler as we're going to be stirring the gas pipe. And then we can pop open the two clips underneath, take the case off, and then bring the front panel down. Alright, so first thing we can do is take this off. Put that to the side, pull it down, hook it off. Okay, so next we can take off these connections. And we'll just take off all the connections for the fan, gas valve, and also the sensor up here so that will just pop out like that okay now all the connections are out of the way we can undo this gas nut right here to the side so we don't lose it okay then we're gonna take off these four main screws and if I can find where I put my yes. those off. I'm just going to pop the burner door off. Make sure I just place that over here. Okay, so for this we also are going to want to take off the expansion vessel so we can have more space down here. So to start off we'll undo the nut for the expansion vessel right here. Then unscrew the two screws up here. All right. Let's leave that in here so we don't lose it. Okay, now the expansion vessel should just slide out. That's the expansion vessel out. We shall place that. Let's place it here for now. Alright, so that's the expansion vessel out. And now we're just going to want to take off these flow and return pipes here. So just get a screwdriver or something to pop out this clip right here that's that out then we're going to 
pop off this clip here and then we should be able to push that that way just like that and then we're just gonna rotate it and wiggle it down and that is that one off just leave that there okay now same for this one but this one we need to undo this snap that goes onto the pump so grab a pair of grips and we should be able to undo the now Out. Now, the same thing over here. We have that clip right here for my fingers that we're going to undo. So, chip off. Same thing. Just wiggle the pipe out. Just that to the side. We can just leave them there for now. But also, you guys, be aware that there will be some water when you're taking off these pipes. So, have your wet vac, your cloth, your tissue ready. Then. We're going to get our screwdriver and take off this hose that goes to the main exchanger. Alright, I'm just going to wiggle that down. Okay, now that is the main heat exchanger. It's connected from everything. So, we're going to pop off these four front screws. definitely meant to do that <laughs> and then we're just gonna take off this screw here ah. so that's four screws off one bracket off it's gonna pop this other bracket off that's those brackets off okay so now we have three screws up here one two three and then there's also like a little rivet there but we don't need to touch that so let's take these screws off that is one And that is the final one okay so next you're gonna want to just take the bottom end of this and just kick it to the side all the way right all right so there's two, well, there's, technically there's three ways you can do this. Um, there's four screws that holds down this to the top of the boiler. Um, you can take that off and this will come out a lot easier. But then obviously you have the problem of taking off a flue which is long and we don't really want to do that. We want to make the job easy. So the second way to do it is simply just pushing it up first. So we're going to push it up twist it right and it should pop down like that that is the main exchanger out so putting it back in same thing you're gonna put it in at an angle like that and then just push it and push it left and then it should hook onto the left side and then you're gonna bring this bracket down and that with the boiler and then that would be your new exchanger in however sometimes this can be very tight and tricky to get out so the third way 
same thing hook that to the side what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist this side out because I know sometimes this can be really stiff to get out to so just pop out like that so like that we're just twisting this side out and kind of pushing that side in and again that is your exchanger out so depending on which one's easier for you you can try out all three of those methods but same thing putting it in it's pretty simple so putting it in a little bit of an angle there pushing it up all the way hooking it left so it meets that little line there and then just bring this down and lining that one up and that is it it's not too tricky on this boiler so I'm just gonna line up those three screws put them in also when you are going to put the main exchanger back in I would recommend putting some grease just on that top part of the flue there just so it goes in a lot easier and also when you're going to put in all these other pins I'd recommend putting grease as well just to make your life easier all right let's get these screws in Okay, that is those screws back on, back in secure. I can see it's connected up there, fine. All right, so next, we're just gonna pop these connections back on while we have all this space. So, I'm gonna pop this one in. Again, put some grease or a place to wash it if needed, if it was leaking before. That's that in. Give it a pull, make sure it's in okay. Just gonna push this to the side so we have some space to put this tube back on. All right, now we are gonna push that all the way up and get our Phillips and give that time. that on now for the floor back all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna pop in this side first again put some grease on here now this pipe spin so you might need to line them up so they're okay if you did accidentally twist it so look, that's not gonna line up so take it back out okay that's 
that in. And then with this one, we just want to keep pushing it until we hear it proper popping. it's not going anywhere all right now we're gonna pop the expansion vessel back in so what you want to do is you want to line this bottom line with these brackets right here so let's get in and I can show you so if you look you can see it sits right there in the groove so push that back in and then we're just going to do out the bracket first so we know it's in the right place so like that line these holes up Good back in then we just have our nut for the expansion vessel and just make sure the washer is back on there you haven't lost it okay so also gonna want to tighten this here You'd also just get a pair of grips and tie that when you're doing it. Okay, now it's going to give everything a visual look, make sure it looks like we've done everything. So, blow pipe done, return pipe, got a tube on for our condense, vessels back in, that's back up. Next, we're going to put burn the door back on. Okay, so. that don't forget your bracket done that countless of times then you have to take it all apart put it back on all right that's one I don't have the force screw, but obviously you will. So make sure you pop that back in. And we're just gonna do this connection up now. Get our washer. And tighten this up. Now you can use two spanners, grips and a spanner to tighten it. Don't really matter. Okay, so we have our connection for the gas valve 
pop that on. Our connection for fan, pop that back on. We are going to show. Ah, we need to put our brackets back on for the heat exchanger. So this is going to go on the left side. I recommend just putting the both screws in by hand first so you know you've got them lined up and then you can tighten them up. Alright, next one. Now all the screws are pretty different so it's not like you're gonna get confused if you just put them all to one side. You'll know which ones are for what. Alright, the reason I noticed is because this pops in to that bracket there. So pop that back in there and then we're going to pop this back on our sensor at the top of the heat exchanger let's try to give you a better look it's going to be right there okay now we're going to pop Tube back on. Pop our connection back on for the electrodes and the earthing. Okay, and that is pretty much it for changing the exchanger. Obviously, then you're going to need to shut the drain off on the isolation valves. Unisolate the isolation valves, unisolate the gas, do a drop test again, make sure that connection is okay. Fill up, make sure you have no leaks, and that's pretty much it, guys. That is changing a main heat exchanger on an Ecotech Pro.